In this video tonight, I'd like to ask, will they ever accept and confess they love you? Okay, this is the question. And if you'd like to participate in this reading, please think of a person and choose your deck. And take your time, please. Okay, have you chosen your deck? So let's start then with the deck number one. Okay, just removing these aside. So, will they ever accept and confess they love you? Let's have a look. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I think here, I think it can happen. It can happen. It can happen that, well, right now we see that the situation is pretty bad. There is lots of uh, self-doubt and uncertainty, you know, with the person, maybe their thoughts are eating them and uh, they cannot decide whether this is a good relationship, not a good relationship, whether you like them back or not, you know, that sort of thing. <clears throat> but... Um, Let's say if they will feel safe at some point with you, if they feel that they've achieved um, that, you know, mm, that stage where they are safe to confess and accept, if basically we're talking about they will be sure 100%. When they will be sure 100%, I feel like when you're already together, something like that, and something will come spontaneously from their heart they might actually go with the flow and confess <clears throat> yeah but for that they need to be extremely peaceful and at ease yeah like they need to be um, um yeah 100 percent sure that <clears throat> you would probably feel the same way about them okay What is advice for you in this situation? How to, you can help them to accept and confess sooner? Well, flowering. <clears throat> you don't have to be do anything as such. I think just look beautiful. Be beautiful. Don't block this flow. Don't block this what's happening. Basically, it's showing this card... Um, that basically you should be looking beautiful and you should be flowering and being happy and uh, the way you are now, perhaps. So this card is about uh, saying that you're doing everything right, what you need to do in order to be with that person and um, you being yourself, perhaps, you being who you are, you are um, enjoying things and they can feel that and they fall in love with you, I would say. And you just need to keep keep up with that in the situation. You just need to yourself, you know, shine and be beautiful, and uh, be who who you are now. Don't change, yeah. Okay, so this would be, <clears throat> and I would say, yeah, grow grow this relationship. Uh, try to uh, put as much, you know, <clears throat> oil in the fire as as you can to. Um, Show that you're interested, basically answering to the emails, answering to calls, and basically doing everything that you can to show that you're interested in that person too. Um, be visible, do not hide anywhere, so that they can see you, and basically, yeah, the right body language is very important. Because they're the person who think that 
basically you're not interested in them, I think. They think it's just one-sided thing going on. But if they are sure that it's you both <clears throat> who are in love, then they will perhaps say it. But um, but as long as they're not sure, they have doubts, they might not say it. It's all about them feeling safe. Okay, so this was our reading number one. Let's move on to our reading number two. And this is our reading number two. The question is, will they ever accept and confess they love you? Will they ever do that? So, will they ever confess their feelings to you? Okay. We again have the Eight of Swords. This is Eight of Vajras, but it's Eight of Swords. Justice. Well, here... Um, Will they ever do that? Well, here again, it can be that they have doubts. So they feel restricted by, by something. They might feel this is a good opportunity. Like this is a new relationship, perhaps. They're aware of the opportunity, yeah? And maybe um, mm, there has been some uh, things that, um, like, the relationship might be in the first stages, I would say with the ace, you know, it's more like an opportunity, but sometimes you can talk about the fact that this opportunity came together with work and money. So for example, it's a new person who, who came to your office, school, class, or anything like that. It can be that this is a person you met through somewhere or someone who offered them or recommended them through a job and they came to work basically and the eight of swords basically talks about the fact that this can be a restricting situation yeah like a working relationship or something like that so and it makes them like this dog it wants to go but it's kind of tied up so the situation is that uh, the person feels is not available or you're not available or you both are not free somehow to get in touch with each other. Like, to, he is not free to say these words. He has no right to say these words, you know, confess. And the justice is basically, well, justice is ethics and morals. It's uh, about what people think. It's about whether it's acceptable or not. So I think uh, in this case... Uh, they might, I'm not sure if they will. In this case, I think it, they might not. If they're really restricted by some uh, social norms and ethic morals or whatever. Um, so this person will do the right thing. I think this person will behave uh, the um, in the way that is uh, approved by society, in the way that is... Um, Formal, I would say. Well, formal, maybe not the right word, but I'm, I see they will do the right thing. If it's a work a relationship, they will not say it. Yeah. So what is advice for you regarding this? How can you go about this? How can you help them say it? Ten of Jewels, Ten of Pentacles. Well, either, how can you help them say it? This can be, again, talking about either taking them to some other place, other building or other area where... You know, um, it's basically uh, talking again about Ten of Jewels, yeah. 
in a way it can be the card of a family as well in a way it can be a card of tradition as well if this person is married if you are married think about that if um you're working together think about that you know um so it's kind of think uh, it says that sort of thing Okay, we have the King of Swords. So again, I feel this is talking about you have to be also formal. You basically have to control yourself. You cannot help them to confess because that would be maybe against their values or something. That sort of thing. Otherwise, uh, you can still be friendly to that person, and uh, you, you can nothing is stopping you to talking to that person, and you know, liking that person, being friendly to that person. Maybe the situation will change in the future. We don't know, but it's not that you have to hate that person and stop talking to that person hundred percent. It's basically just saying that the person might not confess it uh, just because you know, some restrictions. And I think it advises you to understand that. But at the same time, be friendly and like that person. That's okay. Okay. So, this is our situation number two, reading number two. Let's move on to our reading number three. This is our deck number three. The question is, will they ever accept and confess their feelings? Will they ever uh, confess they love you? So, will they do that? Okay. <clears throat> well, here um, we have the cards of Page of Wands, the Sun, and the Seven of Cups. For me, it seems that uh, they will not confess. You know, either they will dream about you, or their confession is actually very unrealistic, you know, so maybe it's a very new relationship, maybe it's a very new person, maybe it's um, <clears throat> a very childish person or immature person, you know, and uh, or maybe there was a little bit of just communication, you know, like one word or one text or one call or one meeting and you're all in love with that person. And because of that, they chose that it's kind of unrealistic, you know, that they will confess. Or they would rather dream about you, but they will never confess, you know, with these cards. <clears throat> So what is, um, I mean, I want to one more card, uh, to pull one more card to see what's really happening because this kind of looks very unusual. The fool. Well, some sort of crazy, unrealistic um, relationship and you would be naive to hope that, I mean this can work out, I mean, this is very, it can be like, how to say, like a one night stand, like, it can be like a very um, co coincidental flirt, um, a person you met once, somewhere, but it doesn't talk about something serious, you know, the full card is very, very new, very young, the person can be very young, or the relationship can be very young, 
with, the, with these cards and it's kind of very very like a crush or that sort of energy so what is advice for you how can you help this person to confess hi priestess well this card talks about you basically not doing anything and keeping it to yourself no action required and uh, in some cases it can be uh, you know telepathic messages you know sending thoughts to that person you know, visualizing that this will happen basically uh feminine magic then <laughs> how to put it with a high priestess is basically uh, thoughts you know the thought world the subconscious and uh, it can be talking about platonic relationship, it can be talking about, um, you know, secret relationship, that sort of thing. So even sometimes this card does, uh, doesn't advise you to confess to that person. It's telling you to keep it a secret, don't talk at all, don't tell anyone. So, so yeah, we have this kind of advice here. Let's have a look at our deck number four. And this is our deck number four. The question is, will they ever accept and confess uh, their relationship, oh, sorry, their love to you? Will they ever accept and confess their love to you? Yeah. Well, here I would say the um, need one more. Here I would say uh, maybe. Here I feel like. Uh, Maybe it's the the love, the real love between you, the real friendship. And this is a situation where um, for some reason you were not able to meet each other, talk to each other. But this uh, time of waiting, this time of postponement and delay is already over. Yeah. Indecision, time of indecision is kind of over. And I think this person is really willing here with the Knight of Swords and Chariot. They're not afraid to confess. So here I would say yes, they will confess their feelings because they're very um, clear about it, they're decided about it, and they want it. Now, what is advice for you regarding this? What is advice for you? How can you help them to confess? How can you um, not block them to confess? Something like that. So what is advice? Seven of Swords... Well, Seven of Swords, basically, advice for you, be clever. Be very, very clever. Don't avoid them. Don't run from them. Don't hide from them. Don't uh, ignore them, you know. Come in contact with them so that they can find you and confess their feelings. With this card, it can sometimes be that uh, you're trying to avoid the person and you're... Um, running away from that person, um, you know, that sort of thing. What's happening between you two? Well, it, it seems that you kind of achieved each other, you know, this card is some sort of stability and friendship between you two. And uh, basically it's a safe I would say it's quite safe to for confession to happen, you know. The person feels emotionally secure to do that. But this card is a little, a little puzzling. Unless you're really trying to avoid that person. Clarify that. <clears throat> Maybe it's been a while. Maybe they haven't been doing this for a while, this confession thing, and you're kind of thinking the might be not, not might not be genuine. 
something like that. What do they feel about you? Ooh, Eight of Swords. Well, this card also can talk about uh, like a love that cannot be, that cannot happen for some reason. You know, that forbidden love, that sort of thing. But we, we have also the Knight of Cups, which, uh, which is the feelings and emotions that they feel to you. Basically, they love you, but they can't be with you, something like that. But they might confess here. Will they confess? There's a great chance that they will confess. But you might be blocking it with the Seven of Swords if you're avoiding them. The other meaning with the Seven of Swords can be when... Um, there's a love triangle, of course, and this relationship, you feel it shouldn't happen. So there's a sense of guilt and that sort of thing. So if you're feeling guilt, sometimes it's already a block. Um, so I would advise to, you know, again... See what's important to you and um, remove the guilt. <laughs> and um, because he has eight of swords, you have the seven of swords. So it seems that you are either guilty or avoiding or afraid of him or something. And he is basically also feeling like he's not deserving or it's, this cannot happen. Something like that is happening. But feelings are there. You know, he wants, but... And there's a great chance he will. But... And he should. So... Okay, I wish you best of luck with this confession. And thank you for watching my video. I hope to see you next time. Have a great night. Bye-bye.